Hey coin collectors and welcome to the Big D Coin Channel. It's DC here doing the 1984 United States quarter dollar coin. And that, my friends, is a 1984 D, D for Denver, Liberty at the top, in God We Trust under George Washington's chin, and then 1984 at the bottom. And there's a D, and that's a D up there, as you can see, and there's a D there. Uh... I think there's a D over here, too. Let's see what this one is. Oh, there's a P. So there's a difference between the P and the D. Hard telling, right? This one over here. That's another P. There's... A, okay. So what we should do is we should get the best D, which is really what I mean is the worst D, and the worst P. So let's let's just go through them. All right, so Denver stands... Uh, D stands for Denver. P stands for Philadelphia, and we know that in the 1980s, uh, the U.S. quarters were notorious for their kind of mint marks, which didn't hold up, either because of the way they were done at the time, or what they were the quarters were used for, or both. So there's a P. <laughs> Let's see what this one is. Look at that. That's actually a P on there. This is the maybe the worst coin of the bunch. It's all beat up, and it's got this great P on it. See it? And that's also a P there. And that's a P there. And these are all 1984s. So, let's see. Well, there's a D. So that's our best P and our best D so far. Let's see if we can get anybody to beat that one. So in 1984, they made 676 million Phillies. 676 million of these coins. So they made a lot, let's be honest. They made about um, 2 million a day. Um, and then, and, and that's that's if you count every day of the year. So they probably made even more than that. There's another D. We'll take this one for the best. Let's keep going. So all of these coins are going to have a D or a P on them um, because uh, these are the general circulation coins that we're looking at. Now, of course, God, look at that P versus that P. That is just weird. Uh, so they're general circulation coins, but they did make, of course, a San Francisco Mint coin in 1984. And this is a San Francisco... San Francisco Mint coin. It says Liberty at the top. Same thing in God We Trust. You can actually read it. Uh, you can see that there is an S there. This one's in hard plastic. But I'm, I'm keeping it um, because of uh, this coin set hasn't been broken open yet. 1984 in the back. And of course when we get to the the reverse of the coin, it says United States of America, E Pluribus Unum. There's an eagle with all of its magnificent feathers even down through here. You can see the leg feathers and everything coming down, little tufts there. Uh, this is an olive branch, a uh, sheaf of arrows. It says quarter dollar at the bottom. So they did make a, a D, uh, they made a P, and they made an S. Um, and, so, and they made about 1.2 billion of the Ds and Ps as you put them together. And the S for the San Francisco Mint, they made 3 million of those. Uh, how much is this San Francisco Mint quarter worth? It's not worth that much, oddly enough. It's only worth 4 to $5 outside of the Mint set. What's the most valuable D or P coin? Well, if you get up to MS65, you're talking about $10 or $12 um, uh, per coin. But you can go way, way higher than that. You can go into the thousands uh, for the for the 1984. And one of the reasons you can is because uh, there are so few that when you get up to MS67 or MS68, there just aren't any out there. Mm, what else have we got? There's another D. Um, I'm going to say, uh, I don't know what you guys think, but this one's close. I'm going to keep both of these because these are the two best ones, certainly. It would be nice to see another P that was even close. That's not really it. That D is, is just a... A mush D. I'll just go through a few more. There's another P. That coin was torn up. P. So Philadelphia is the worst. Denver's better, but still very bad. San Francisco, of course, is good. 
Um, it's a little squiggly, but it's a good one. That's another P. That is just hard to believe. Um, yeah, so I'm saying Philadelphia, if you can find one that's in any shape at all, it will have some value. Um, and any uh, mint mark at all will have some value. Um, but um, if you're going to collect these, uh, don't collect these circulating coins. Uh, I understand that it's um, you know, getting close to um, 40 years old. Um, but these just aren't going to uh, be of much value when they made 1.2 million. And if it isn't like really, really, really a uh, good shape, um, it's not going to be worth um, getting it graded. So in other words, if you can get it graded and it's an MS-65 and you're going to get 10 or 12 bucks for it, if it's graded and it costs you 10 or 12 bucks to grade it, then it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. All right, while I got you here though, I want to show you what I just uh, got in the mail. And this is an 1851, or is it 1854? Oh, it's an 1854, it's actually hard to see it. It's an 1854 one cent coin. And I just want to show you how big it is compared to the quarter. So this is one cent, 1854. It says United States of America. This is a wreath, uh, reverse. United States of America here with a wreath in the one cent in the middle of the wreath. And just, uh, you can see kind of this um, geared edge around the outside. You tip it up and you see it has a smooth edge. And then you just see Liberty, this band across there, kind of almost a crowned Liberty. So this is a beautiful coin. I just wanted to show it to you because I got it today. Um, these one cents are, you can get these and they're not that expensive. So if, look around and see if you can get any of the um, Liberty uh, one cent coins from uh, the 1850s or 1860s because they are not expensive and they're nice. Um, if you're gonna wanna collect the 1984 quarters, you're just not gonna uh, be able to make a lot on them unless they're in incredibly good shape. Um, if you're gonna collect the 1984 quarters, some people say look for the errors, look for the ones that they missed strike on them, look for the ones with the cutouts in them um, that look like they got munched. But the 1984 quarter, it's nice. It's mint marks are messy, um, and there are tons and tons of them still out there. So grab a couple, at least one or two from each mint, but don't expect them to increase in value. All right, thanks for watching. This is DC on the Big D.